hi people hi people welcome welcome to my channel how are you all doing sweeties yeah welcome once again um thank you for being here okay yes uh, i know you're wondering what is she doing uh, as you can see on your screen so i am trying to well going to kill these snails yes do you remember these snails i once made a vlog about this snail when we first when hobby went on a short trip and bought these snails and we decided that we are going to rear the snail and see if we can you know if it can multiply and for those of you that have not watched that video i will be linking it on the description box below so that you get to watch it before watching this very one okay so here we are and um we are trying to see the best way for us to you know to remove the snail because the snail is quite big as you can see it's very very big so bringing the snail out from its shell was quite a job it was difficult so hobby was just like trying all the techniques that he can think of to make it easier for the snails to come out from their sh uh, from their shell so we went into this method of using the gas to burn it and see if it can you know come out but it didn't <laughs> the snail cell doesn't want to be killed see that is my bed my canary making noise sorry for the noise from the canary so we're just trying to see how we can bring the snail from its hiding and um after putting it on the gas burning it for a while Obi decided to see if he can really bring it out but that also failed it didn't come out the snail didn't come out the snail was just proving so stubborn like so stubborn and i was even scared i was praying so hard for Hobby not to get himself injured. So what happened to the snail is the weather was harsh. You know, it was winter and snails don't like cold. So um, we left it outside in a, in a vase, cover it with nylon, you know, so that it can generate heat. So along the line, we noticed that two of the snail died. You know, they died. I noticed some kind of um, maggots start coming out from a particular snail. So I, I started checking the snail one after the other. And I got to see that with two of them is dead. So I have to throw them away. And so for us not to lose the rest, we decided to kill them. And I use them to make soup. Though I have not made the soup yet, but I will still let you guys know when I'm making the soup with these snails. Okay, so that is it there. Hobby still trying to see how best to remove the snail from its shell. So at the end of the day, he decided that, okay, let's put the snail in the pot and allow it to get hot. Probably when the thing heats up on the snail. It's okay, I don't want to put music in this video because of copyright, you know. I don't want the situation after taking my time to upload a video and then um, YouTube will not copyright me about it. Uh, I will feel very bad because it's not easy to edit a video. So, yeah. After boiling the, the snail for quite a while, Hobby decides to give it another try. To see if the snail can really come out from its shell. And yay! Woo, it's like it's like we finally we finally 
find a solution to how to take off the snare from its shell. Boom, 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 boom. And the rest are still on the fire. So Hobby has removed. See, look at that. Yeah, it worked, you know. So Hobby removed it. I'll finally remove it. So after all said and done, we are able to remove all the snails from it. Sure. <sighs> finally, it hurts me so badly that we have to we had to kill this snail because I was actually looking forward to rearing it and watching it give them lay some eggs and you know also watch the egg hash and all that and all that. I was really having a lot of expectation, but unfortunately my expectations were dashed. Look at it. Look at how big it is, guys. Look at how big the snail is. Wow. Wow, this is good. So Hobby has to wash it thoroughly, remove all the dirt, and wash it with lime. Yes, you can either wash it with lime or you wash it with... Um... Oh, my goodness. What is it called? Alum. In my dialect, it is called alum. That white stone, that white, that whitish stone, you know, I don't know what it is called in English. Please, if you know what alum is called in English, can you please write it on the comment section, on the description, but please, comment section, sorry. You know, we learn every day. Nobody knows it all, okay? So, please, if you know what alum is, in what it is called, I know of potash. It does, it's not potash. There's a name for it in English. I just can't get my head over it. So please, if you know what it is, on my comment section, please, so that I can also learn. Thank you so much. So yes, still cleaning the snail. Hobby still doing his thing. You know, one thing I love about my hobby is he is a good cook. He is good in everything. He's good in, and he is very supportive. Shout out to all the supportive husband. If you are a lady on this platform and you have a very supporting, understanding, loving, caring husband, I say shout out to you all. You are lucky. You are favored. You are blessed to have, you know, to have someone you are favored. You know, you are lucky. You are blessed to have a man that, you know, assists you. So here it is. The snail has been thoroughly cleaned and washed and i'm going to put it in that um plastic cover it properly and then put it in the freezer until i'm ready to until i decide on which of the soup will i use it for we i have snail soup and i also have a vegetable okra soup with snail and uh oba Oba, 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 bear fruit. Is it bear fruit? No, no, oba is not bear fruit. Okwa is bear fruit. That's oba. Hey, what is oba called? Please, if you know what is oba called, <laughs> please write it on this on the comment section. So we have come to the end of this video. Hey, sweetie, if you have watched this video to this stage, you are indeed a friend. You are a supporter. You are, you are everything. You are just amazing. Thank you. <music>